if you live in Lincoln Square or any other neighborhood in the city, really, you probably don't have a great big yard like this one. Chances are you're working with a patio or a small deck, which means that if you want green, you're relying on potted plants. Here are a few tips to get your container garden going. It is that wonderful time of year again where your green thumb is tested and you get to start and uh, try and get your plantings together. This is Harold from Spring Green Lawn Care. He is the director of education and he's going to show me the right way today to actually pot a plant because as anyone who normally watches the show knows, I kill plants. <laughs> I can't alone. help it. You're not alone. So give me some tips here on, first of all, is this the right time to get it started? Oh, most definitely. Okay. Most definitely. You know, for the most part, you can plant these uh, anytime it, as long as the weather's good for outdoor. Okay. The first thing that you have to do is buy a pot that has a hole in the bottom that can drain into like a tray like this. Okay. A lot of times people find these real fancy pots, but they don't have a bottom in the, uh, a hole in the bottom. And what will happen is the water will spit in the bottom and the plants will drown. So get a, a, a pot that drains. You might have just saved my plant. <laughs> <laughs> Second thing, just get some good soil. You see that soil is very nice. There's a lot of peat moss in there. You spend a little bit of money. Get a good quality soil for your plants to grow in. So the 99 cent bag is probably yes. not no. <laughs> such a bargain buy after all. No. Putting it in a, in a planter, you want to have something that's a little bit uh, better quality. And then choose your plants. What plants are you putting in here, all by right. the way? You're, you've got three different kinds here. Right. What we have in the middle here is a spike. This is going to grow up high. We have a couple of geraniums, seed geraniums. These are great for the sun, so you want to have this in the sun. It's kind of the great thing about a potted plant, right? You, you can, can move, move it around. around. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. You want to get it in there, and you don't want to push it down to pack the soil. What you want to do is once the soil is, you've got your, all your plants in there, use water to settle all the soil. Now, a lot of times this, this can be difficult, so you just take your fingers like this, you put them over the pot, give it a quick pound on the bottom. Ah, uh, you make it look too easy. Out, take out the little plastic. Piece. And those little plastic pieces are a, a bother, but if you're not familiar with plants and what to use, that's your source of information on where to go with these. For example, right here it says full sun. Okay. So you know that, that the geranium needs full sun. If you try to put it in shade, it's just not going to do well. It's like a cheat sheet. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now, how large are these plants going to grow? Because, of course, you know, we always, by the end of summer, want these great, big, full, colorful right. plants. Right. These are going to fill in as long as you keep it watered. And what you want to do is water from the bottom. You oh. can get some water in the top, but try to keep the water in the base here so that it will suck up through the bottom of the plant. So we should we should be able to see some, some water, water in, in that here. base. Right. Okay. And once it, once it goes away and it dries out down there, then add a little bit more water to the base. Yeah. And that's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. Put three or four different plants in here, and that's fine. That's about Don't as much it. right. That's about as much as you want to get into a, a, a regular pot, pot like this. Okay, perfect. Thanks okay. a lot, Harold. And sure. here's to a very colorful and plantiful, ah, uh, plantiful, oh, plantiful summer. Plantiful, there's a new word. <laughs> Thank you.